ever since I was a little boy. I've had this question on my mind. It was one of the most fundamental questions that led me to be an atheist from the days I was a child. You see, I went to a public school, but we did get these Bible lessons. Once a week, this old lady came to school a Thursday afternoon, reading us Bible stories. And when I was a kid, I had no notion of the God concept. God never was part of any conversation we had at home. My parents never talked about religion or God. So when I grew up, I even had no idea that there were people who actually believed in the existence of a God. To me, churches were just very beautiful and impressive buildings. And people came there to listen to stories and to music and songs. I think I was about 10 years old when I was confronted with the concept of a god by this old lady who came to school. And my immediate reaction to those Bible stories was that I considered them to be fiction because these stories were so full of illogical and impossible events that I even thought as a child that they were bad fiction, pretty poorly written. So when the old lady was reading to us from the Bible, I still had no idea that she actually believed in these stories. Now when I came to realize that she was serious about these stories, I couldn't just connect the dots. There was this question that kept circling in my mind. Each and every time she told her Bible stories, I thought as a child, if there is a God who is the most powerful being in the universe, and if this God loves us all, then why doesn't he stop suffering like war and disease? I thought if I were God, the first thing I would do is end all war and all disease. You don't even have to love all of humanity for that. It would just be the right thing to do. If I were a god, there could only be one single thing that could prevent me from stopping war and disease. And that would be if I would not be capable of doing so. But if I were a god and I was so powerful that I could create planets and rivers and mountains by just talking them into existence, then I surely would be powerful enough to stop human suffering. If I created the universe, then why would I create a universe that is full of suffering in the first place? So, the question that never left my mind ever since I was a little kid is, if there is a powerful God who loves us all, then why doesn't he stop suffering? Today it's 50 years later, and that question still hasn't been answered. Do you have the answer? If you believe in a God, can you tell me if your God is capable of ending human suffering? And if he is, then why does your God choose not to end human suffering? I've been waiting for an answer for all of my life, so I would be most grateful if there's anyone out there who has a credible and logical explanation for this, thanks for your thoughts. I'll be waiting.